Hi, this is another review for AP Psychology. This is an exercise that I use with, uh, with my students in my classes uh, to help them understand the perspectives that, um, uh, that are available and that uh, they need to be familiar with. So there are some scenarios and then, of course, the answers. So to start, the unconscious mind is key to understanding behavior. Which perspective is this? Hopefully, your answer is psychoanalysis. Humans are passive organisms that react to their environment. Answer, behaviorism. Humans actively seek, evaluate, combine, transform, and transmit information. Answer, cognitive. Behaviors and thoughts can be taken back to the brain chemicals and hormones. Exactly, biological. People who did not grow up speaking English often do not get my puns. Sociocultural. Parents can model behavior and children can imitate them. Behaviorism. Humans are born basically good with an innate desire to grow and grow and improve. Humanistic. I'm a man, you're a woman. This makes us view the world differently. Which perspective? Sociocultural. It's all about the consequences. That's right, behaviorism. Childhood experiences determine our adult behavior. That's right, psychoanalysis. Serotonin and dopamine are important neurotransmitters in keeping people's moods stabilized. Biological it is. It's all about how we think about things. Operative word, think. Latin word for think. That's right. Cogito. Cognitive. People try to create meaning in their lives through making connections. Tough one here, I know. Humanistic. Being Mexican, German, Chinese, or American will alter how a person will experience the world. They will view the world. What's that? That's right. Sociocultural. Reality is different for each person because they interpret external events differently. Cognitive. Sex and aggression are two inborn drives that push people to do different things. Anytime you see sex and aggression, that's Freud and psychoanalysis or psychoanalytic perspective. Hormones and genetics. That's right, biological. Reinforcement and punishment drive behavior. That's right, behavioral. Anytime you see reinforcement and or punishment, you're probably talking behavioral. Self-actualization and our drive to grow push us to excel. Humanistic. That's Abraham Maslow, just FYI. The whole is greater than the sum of its parts. Context determines how we perceive reality. Gestalt, which is a subgroup or subcategory of cognition. That's right. My aunties help raise me, and I go to them for dating advice. Sociocultural. That's right, friends of the family, aunties, aunties. Sociocultural, how we use language, too. 
there are no accidents because we may actually be doing it to unconscious, due to unconscious issues. Hmm. Psychoanalysis. Women on average have largest corpus callosi, a part of the brain, and therefore can multitask better than men. <laughs> Biological. He thought it was going to be sociocultural. But the thing here, the thing here is the brain part. Perception of self and how others feel about us are important. Humanistic, which of course is a subcategory of cognitive. I'm older than you all. I've experienced things you have not. Sociocultural. I'm older than you, and my nervous system processes experiences differently than you teenagers. Biological. Watch out for the phrasing on these, uh, on these sorts of uh, questions. We are all subject to stimulus response connections to the world that determines our behavior. Behaviorism. The schemas that I have will filter out and filter in different bits of information. Cognitive. Men reach their physical peak in their mid-twenties. Teenagers have more accidents with driving than adults because their hormones are pushing them into risky behavior. Biological. George Lopez addresses aspects of this point of view in comparing Latino and American behaviors. Sociocultural. Remember, Keep on studying that AP Psych review. 